Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Nine years ago, a large iceberg broke off of Greenland's Petermann Glacier and floated away. It was the second iceberg which broke off of the Petermann Glacier in two years, and experts said, this is what global warming looks like. We better take a look and see how global warming has affected the glacier since then. NASA satellites show that since 2012, the Petermann Glacier has grown more than 5 kilometers. This was the Ice Edge nine years ago, and this is where it is now. Petermann isn't the only large glacier in Greenland which is growing. Two years ago, NASA reported that Greenland's Jacob Chauvin Glacier is also growing, and NASA reported that the expansion of the Jacob Chauvin Glacier was bad news for global warming. On March 23, 2019, National Geographic reported the same thing. They said, a Greenland glacier is growing. That doesn't mean melting is over. This article was written three months after another National Geographic article, which said that Greenland was experiencing unprecedented ice loss. So according to National Geographic, glaciers in Greenland were growing at the same time they were melting at a record rate. That's some pretty impressive, but fairly typical doublespeak from National Geographic. Now let's go back in time 120 years to when Greenland actually was melting. The Jacob Chauvin Glacier is growing now, but in 1903 it had retreated 8 miles since 1850 and lost 20 to 30 feet in depth. Scientific American reported exactly the same thing in 1904. This map shows the very rapid retreat of the Jacob Chauvin Glacier between 1851 and 1883. This is the same glacier which is growing now, and NASA says that growth is bad news for global warming. By 1910, it was reported by scientists that glaciers were retreating all over the world. Glaciers were retreating in South America, Greenland, Spitsbergen, the Rocky Mountains, and in Europe. According to NASA, glaciers were rapidly retreating during the coldest years on record around 1910. And also according to NASA, glaciers are growing now during what NASA describes as the hottest years on record. Apparently NASA believes that glaciers recede when it's cold and they expand when it's very hot. By 1939, it was reported that Greenland's glaciers were melting very rapidly. The leading expert of the time, Dr. Hans Allman, reported that all the glaciers in eastern Greenland were rapidly melting. It may, without exaggeration, be said that the glaciers of Greenland, like those in Norway, face the possibility of a catastrophic collapse. Dr. Allman published pictures showing the rapid retreat of a Norwegian glacier after 1869. The top photograph is 1869. This is 1933, and this is 1946. Glaciers were retreating very rapidly during NASA's coldest years on record. Dr. Allman also documented the spectacular warming at Spitsbergen between 1910 and the end of the 1930s. Once again, during NASA's coldest years on record. So let's take a look at how NASA deals with this inconvenient warming which occurred in the first half of the 20th century in the Arctic. Like you would expect from NASA, they simply erase the inconvenient data. Thermometer data shows that Iceland was just as warm or warmer than it is now around the year 1940. This was very inconvenient for NASA's global warming agenda, so they altered the data to erase the warmth of 1940. Prominent government climate scientists around the world discussed this openly in this ClimateGate email. They said they wanted to get rid of the warmth of the 1940s, but they didn't have an explanation for why they were going to do it. It would be good to remove at least part of the 1940s blip, but we're still left with, why the blip? But getting rid of the 1940s warmth needed to be done, so NASA just did it. When NASA says that growth of a Greenland glacier is bad news for global warming, they mean something completely different. What it means is that it's bad news for their fake temperature graphs and their fake global warming agenda. Government policy is largely driven by this graph from NASA, which doesn't make any sense and doesn't appear to have anything to do with reality. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this scam for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.